Let's talk about the protection of alcohols. Alcohols are very functional or very versatile functional groups, but the proton in an alcohol can be very troublesome for some reactions that we want to run. We can mask the reactivity of the proton in what we call a protected alcohol, run a reaction we're interested in, and then deprotect the alcohol on the other side. An example of such a reaction that we'd have a hard time with is if there was an alcohol present in a molecule that also had, say, a halogen. One type of reaction we might be interested in running here is to form a Grignard reagent, where we turn this alkyl halide into a Grignard. The uh, way we would do that is with magnesium metal, and that would insert itself into this bond to ideally make the molecule that has a proton, or that has an alcohol, and the Grignard reagent. However, this cannot occur because we can't form a Grignard reagent in a molecule that has an acidic proton. In order to get around this, what we're going to do is protect the alcohol. The process that we use for this is trimethylsilyl chloride, where we can take an OH, or I'll show this more generically, we can take a carbon that bears an alcohol, and react it with a molecule of TMSCl. What that looks like is a silicon with three methyl groups coming off of it and a chlorine. That is trimethylsilochloride, or TMSCl. The first step of this reaction is a nucleophilic attack of the alcohol onto the silicon. And then we displace the chlorine which then gives us an RO silicon bond. Now don't jump the gun here because remember, we lost a chlorine from this molecule, but this proton is still present on the alcohol. A common mistake I see with students making is they'll just wanna jump straight to the protected alcohol. And remember, we have to take care of this positive charge. For this reason, TMSCl is often paired with the basic solvent, pyridine. Pyridine, you might remember, is a benzene ring with a nitrogen in it. Which can act as a base to take a proton from this molecule and make our RO silicon with three methyl groups on it. So I'm going to write that a slightly different way with methyl and three. It's the same way of drawing this out, but in a uh, smaller notation. This is what we call a protected alcohol. We call it a protected alcohol because this group, the trimethyl silyl, is blocking the position where our acidic proton was. Remember, I can't run this reaction because of that proton, so I've just taken its place with the TMS group. The good news, the great part about this is, I can take my protected alcohol and very easily deprotect it in the presence of acid, water, and heat. So we call this acid, water, and heat hydronium plus heat. Remember that we use the triangle for heat. And that will liberate our protected alcohol back to what we would now call a deprotected alcohol. This is, a this is a synthetically very important mechanism because often we're gonna work with very complicated molecules. And if we have an acidic proton, it prevents any reactions that can uh, be spoiled by that acidic proton. So what I wanna do is show you how we can use a protection step in the reaction scheme to run a reaction like this. So the way of thinking about this is, we'll start with our alcohol. And the first step is to protect the alcohol. The reagents for that again are TMSCl.
impurity, which is going to take our deprotected alcohol and turn it into a protected alcohol. So again, uh, I'm sorry, the, I forgot to show you earlier, this group can be written as TMS. So you'll see me abbreviate that over here as the oxygen, so the bromine's still attached, but I will write trimethylsilyl, oxygen attached to a silicon with three methyl groups coming off of it. Looks like this, looks like that. This is our protected alcohol. Step two. We want to run our Grignard reaction. So this is gonna be the reaction that we were wanting to run initially, but we couldn't because we were limited by our acidic proton. So I'm gonna take my protected alcohol. And in a series of steps, run the Grignard reaction. So we're not talking about the Grignard reaction here. So if you're not familiar with the Grignard, we'll make a separate video to cover that. But you uh, probably remember, because you've seen this chemistry before, that the Grignard reaction first is the reaction of an alkyl halide with magnesium in ether. That makes this Grignard reagent, which now can form because I don't have an acidic proton anymore. Step two, I can give the Grignard reagent something to attack. So I'll use this very simple aldehyde. And then in every Grignard reagent, we have to end this with H3O plus. Now I'm gonna show this in a second, in a third overall step, but this H3O plus could be used in the same way that I used H3O plus here to deprotect. So what will happen is the magnesium is going to add into this bond to make the Grignard reagent. The Grignard reagent is going to react with this carbon. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in my chain. So my TMS, still hanging on over here with my oxygen. One, two, three. One, two, three, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I have five and six. With an OH added on here. This unit came from this molecule, so my hydrogen is still hanging on there. So I was able to run this Grignard reaction where I can make the Grignard reagent, add it to my electrophile, and make this new carbon-carbon bond. Then my final step after I add the proton here is to deprotect the alcohol. The deprotection step here the deprotection step here is simply to just undo this protection step that I have uh, shown previously. So I have my protected alcohol, TMS, oxygen, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in this chain. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And I'll leave the colors alone for these. That I will then react with H3O plus and heat. to unmask the TMSO group and add the alcohol back in its place. Now I know this feels like a lot of steps that I've gone through all of this. And so what's the point? I started with an alcohol up here and I finished with an alcohol down here. But the point is, none of this chemistry would have been possible. I couldn't have made a connection to any of this. None of this step is possible with that alcohol proton on there. And the protection step allows us to hide the alcohol, run the reaction we want, and then deprotect and unmask the alcohol later on. Sometimes this is referred to like how you paint. If you're gonna paint a, a room, you would put down tape, you'd paint your wall, and then later on you'd unmask the tape so that you're painting only the area that you want. Our TMSO group is acting like our masking tape there.